In Australia, an estimated 50% of people in prison have a disability. Many of them are Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islanders. We found that prisoners with mental health conditions and cognitive disabilities in particular frequently end up in solitary confinement. Staff often misinterpret their behaviour as disobedience or acting out and respond in a punitive manner. People are scared to lock up in there because of the way they treat you. Like, they'll put you in a smock, they'll give you no undies, they'll take all your soaps and your razors away from you and your buy-ups. And your coping mechanisms like it might be the phone call, it might be writing a letter or doing a drawing, they take that away from you when you go into an observation unit. Prisoners with disabilities can spend weeks, months and even years in solitary confinement or segregation. They are deprived of social interaction, educational materials and adequate mental health support. Being so isolated can be psychologically damaging for any prisoner. But for people with disabilities, particularly Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, it's devastating. It's confronting and it can be re-traumatising. And while we do our best, it's just not the right environment for people with mental health concerns or cognitive impairments.